Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I have a Q&A for you guys today. I posted on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions if you wanted me to film a Q&A for you guys. And a lot of you guys said you did and you sent me a ton of questions. So we have a lot of questions to go over and I wanna answer them for you guys because I haven't filmed one of these videos in a hot minute and I thought you would enjoy that. Also, I'm gonna keep the ring light off again because I think you guys can see butter better. Whenever I turn the ring light on, it glares off of her tank and then it kind of washes her out and I think this is really pretty and I want you guys to be able to see butter while I film this because I really liked filming in front of her the last time and I think you guys did too because you can kind of watch her while you listen. So I wanted to film this Q&A out here with butter again. I'm also using some natural light so hopefully the lighting is okay and you guys can see me good. Also, I want to mention my hair looks a little different today because today marks one month of no poo for me. I have not shampooed my hair with any chemicals in one month. I've been using water only. I know this is kind of random and doesn't have anything to do with this video, but I did post on Instagram about doing a no poo thing where I'm basically not using shampoo. And some people wanted me to do an update video, like my results and everything. So I'm going to ask you guys here, if you guys want to see a video about not shampooing my hair for a month and how I felt about the results, how my hair is doing and everything, let me know in the comments down below and I will happily film that video. Okay, so getting into the Q&A because we do have a lot of questions that I want to go over. I'm getting them as we speak, like you guys can see. You guys can see as I sit here. So I'm gonna go over them and answer as many as I can. If I get any repeat questions, I'll only answer them once and that sort of thing. So let's get started. The first question is, what was your first animal? So my first animal was technically a dog. He was a mixed dog, a larger dog, and his name was Docs. The second question by Grace is, have you considered getting another hamster? Um, I have not. I don't think I'll be getting another hamster. Never say never, but I definitely don't have any interest in getting one anytime soon. The next question is, do you like reptiles? If so, which types? Obviously I do, I have some reptiles. Uh, Blue is a reptile, he's a tortoise. And Koa is a reptile, he's a turtle. I also have Bodhi, who's a crested gecko. I do love reptiles. I don't have like a ton, but I do have some. And I love tortoises, they're definitely my favorite reptile of all time. If you moved to a massive farm, what would be the first farm animal you would get? Easy, that would be horses. I would want big horses and a mini horse. I would absolutely love a mini horse, like a mini Appaloosa. Oh my gosh, that would just melt my heart. Or like a big Frisian. Uh, I love horses so much, you guys know this. If I had my choice of any farm animal, it would be horses. How do you like doing water changes? It's a lot of work. So water changes is definitely a lot of work, I will say that. It takes me about an hour to do this tank and bagels tank because I do have to fill her tank up with a bucket since a siphon won't pull the water out of her aged bucket and put it into here. I don't use tap water with butter. Not that I never would, but just because of her whole dropsy incident, I I just like to be really, really careful with the water that I use for her. So she only gets aged tap water, but filling her tank up with a bucket definitely takes a really long time, but I don't mind it. Um, I find it really calming. And so, yeah, I don't really mind doing water changes. What is one animal that you want, but can't have? I would say more tortoises. Not that I can't have them in terms of like, I can't afford them or anything. It's more of like a space issue because tortoises do require such large enclosures. So more tortoises I would love, like an Egyptian, which I actually could probably get because they're small. I would love horses, but I don't have the farmland and a bird, which I technically, again, I can get one. I just haven't, but I would love a bird. Have you ever made any pet care mistakes? Oh, absolutely. Um, I had a wire wheel in my hamster cage when I was a little kid, but like I didn't know any better. We also kept two Syrians together when I was little and luckily they didn't fight or anything, but like that's a no-no. So we definitely made that mistake. And then I'm sure there was tons more in my life. We used to feed my dogs hard kibble food that was like really cheap. That was horrible. Like everyone makes mistakes when they're little, but luckily you get older, you research and you learn from it. Are you plastic free or trying to be? So that's a really good question. I'll show you. So like I try not to use a lot of single use plastic. It's kind of inevitable whenever you're eating out or anything like that. But like here at home, obviously we don't use any paper plates. We always wash our dishes, etc. So that's one thing we do. I do reuse this cup instead of using plastic water bottles at home. So like we don't buy bottled water. We used to a while ago, but since I bought a couple of these, I actually use these tumblers to like refill my drink in, water, whatever. This is my favorite cup. I got this at Walmart a while back. I actually went and bought another one, so I have two of them and I alternate them. But yeah, this is my favorite. And I was actually talking to Patrick about this yesterday. It's so funny that I got this question. Um, but I actually use recyclable grocery bags every single time I go to the grocery store. I never ever forget to take all of my bags. I 
I have tons and tons of them. They're really worn out though because again, I use them every week. Like here's a really old Star Wars one that I have got completely wore out. It's really bad. And then always whenever I go to a new grocery store I've never been to, I always buy a new bag there. This one is from Brookshire's in Arkansas, which I thought it was really pretty when I went, so I got it. And then I have this one. This is from Whole Foods. I cannot believe I'm showing you guys my grocery bags. This is so funny. So like I have a Whole Foods one. I actually have several Whole Foods ones. And then I actually just got these at Kroger. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's really big too. I just bought that one because a lot of my bags are super wore out. But yeah, every week we go get groceries. We always take our own bags. And some of you guys were actually asking me on a previous video um, why I don't take my reusable bags to Petco. But my Petco actually has just switched to brown paper bags, which is amazing. So I don't really worry about it. And I get most of my pet products from Petco. Definitely every time I get groceries where I'm gonna have a ton of bags, I always take my own. And I highly recommend you do it too because it is really good for the environment. Next question, how long have you been taking care of the animals you have right now? That's kind of hard to answer because I've gotten them all at different times, but Milo was the first pet that I ever got and he kind of started out mine and Patrick's little animal family and we got him almost 10 years ago. He'll be 10 this year, which is crazy. But yeah, Milo is definitely the oldest that we've had personally as a couple. What is the best pet to have in your opinion? I think that's really hard because it depends on the person. But personally, I think that dogs are like the most wonderful pet in the world. I think they're so precious. And anyone who's ever owned a dog probably knows what I'm talking about. Dogs are truly like a gift that we honestly don't deserve. Like they're just so wonderful. Like Milo and Dixie are the sweetest dogs. And Milo, of course, was mine and Patrick's first baby. So he is truly like our heart. He's our treasure. So definitely I would say dog. What advice would you give to your younger self? So that's really hard because it's kind of broad because there's like lots of advice I would go back and give myself looking back. But I would say if there was one thing that like, I would say kind of pertains to like my channel, I guess, to my 18 year old self, I would probably tell myself, don't stop being vegetarian because that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that I made was going back to eating meat because when I was in high school from like 15 to 18, I was completely vegetarian with the exception of like some fish once in a while, but for the most part, I was vegetarian, pretty hardcore. And then when I turned 18, I slowly started to eat meat again. And then that continued until I was about 24, maybe 25 almost. So I definitely regret that. I wish I would have never started eating meat again because it was really bad and my health declined. It was like a whole thing. So that would probably be it. Favorite species of frog, I would definitely have to say is Pac-Man frogs. I love Pac-Man frogs mostly for their coloring and then and their care really isn't that difficult i do love other types of frogs i think pixie frogs are fascinating they're so cute i do love mossy frogs as well yeah there's lots of frogs i love but i guess my favorite would probably be pac-man's if you had unlimited money to design or create your own pet room or dream house what would it look like Ooh, that's a good question i could talk all day about this I would say if I had unlimited resources, it probably wouldn't be like one specific idea of a pet room, but I would love a hobby farm where none of my animals are slaughtered or anything. It's like my pets who I love and I could just have them on my farm. And my farm would be called Heartland, obviously. And basically I would just love like some horses. I would love to have obviously a bigger house with a much bigger pet room where I could do more in there and move things around and kind of expand a little bit with some animals that I would love to have that I maybe don't have room for. I think that would be really fun. I'm obviously grateful for what I have. I'm really grateful for my house and everything, but I would definitely love a bigger yard. That is a huge thing that I look forward to in the future. And if I could have like a little hobby farm for my pet, I would love Heartland. Danielle Miller asks, would you ever consider getting a large size lizard, monitor, tegu, or iguana? No and yes, so it's kind of two part. No, I don't think I'd ever want a tegu, an iguana, or anything like that. But funny enough, the answer is also kind of yes because I would love a caiman. Like if someone just came to me tomorrow and like gave me a baby caiman and was like, here, I don't want it anymore, you have to take care of it. Honestly, we would probably keep it because Patrick has mentioned wanting a caiman and how cool it would be to own one. And we just find them so fascinating. But like a tegu or iguana, we're like, no, we don't really. But like a caiman, yes. So I know that's super weird. So it's kind of yes, kind of no. Also, Danielle, thank you for the question. I adore you. I loved meeting you at Pet Fest. Thank you for coming and seeing us in Texas. And thank you for the question.
Are you going to make more hermit crab videos? Yes, absolutely, in the future. I just made two and I'll link them on the screen if you'd like to go watch them. But yeah, I do plan on making more in the future. And are you getting a bird in all caps locks? Oh my goodness, I could talk about birds all day. I love them. I know I don't have one. I know I've mentioned for like the past year on my channel that I want one and I like research them all the time. I watch videos of birds literally every day. I post about them on Instagram. It's honestly an obsession that I have. I'm definitely still in the research phase. I know I've been in this phase for like over a year or two, but I do think it's important to wait and make sure that I am a thousand percent sure because they're huge responsibility and I know this and I take it very seriously, but like I'm still buying bird toys. I actually just bought something really cute and really big for a bird, but like haven't showed it on the channel, haven't talked about it because I don't have a bird so it feels a bit silly, but I'm still buying stuff for ghost bird, the bird that I don't have that I wish I had. It's kind of ridiculous. I know. I don't know. I want one really badly. I still believe it's going to happen one day, like when the time is right, but yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get one. I don't know. I would love to know, but I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to stop the Q&A right here because I'm sure this video is getting very long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing little butter beans swim around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.